Hey everyone, this is Dr. Zach Reed here, Performance Sport and Spine. In today's video, we're going to go over three different options for improving knee flexion. Restoring full knee flexion range of motion is really important after major surgeries such as ACL repairs and total knee replacements. And kind of finding active ways to do this is going to be more efficient than just passively stretching on structures. So how much knee range of motion do we need in flexion? Well, the goal is about 120 degrees, which we demonstrate here. So the banded slider, if you don't have a slider, you can use a washcloth and a hardwood floor. So place a band around your foot and the slider underneath your foot. And then you're gonna use the band to kind of pull your knee up towards your buttocks while simultaneously activating your hamstring to increase that knee flexion. Again, depending on where you are in your rehab, you may not be able to go very far, but the goal is to actively try to increase your range of motion rather than just passively pull the band. So use the band to assist, but really try to use your muscles to pull you into that new range of motion. Recommend one time a day, two sets of 10 to 12 reps. And again, the goal is to increase the range of motion over time, and it may take weaker months depending on the severity of the condition. The quadruped rock back. So on your hands and knees with a cushion under your knees to kind of help cushion the painful area, you're gonna use your hands and push back to try to increase your knee flexion. It may also help to actually kind of pull back with your hamstrings. We recommend one time a day, two sets of 10 to 12 reps. Again, initially you may not get a lot of range of motion, that's okay, but we're trying to actively increase the range of motion with each rep. So a way to increase this would be a tall kneeling position. So with the surgery knee down and most your weight into your other foot, you're gonna rock back as far as you feel comfortable and then return to the starting position. Again, one time a day, two sets of 10 to 12 reps with a goal to increase the range of motion with each rep. One modification you can do is use a small bench or bat pad so that your knee, the front part of the part where your surgery was, is off so that compression is not directly on it, which may be more tolerable initially. And then again, you would just sink back and to create that knee flexion, the same rep scheme applies, but this way you take the compression off that direct area of the surgery. Well, the kneeling position, so with both knees on the ground with a pad, you're gonna to try to sit back onto your ankles with your buttocks. And again, you let the symptoms and the tightness of your knee dictate how hard you push recommend one time a day, two sets of 10 to 12 reps, and then the end goal would be to be able to sit all the way back onto your heels. So the ball wall squat, this is great because it gives the people a sense of stability. So with your back against the ball, you're gonna just squat down as low as you feel comfortable, feel a nice stretch on that surgery leg, and then stand up. Recommend two sets of six to eight reps as this is a little more aggressive because you're using your body weight to create that knee flexion. Recommend doing it a few times first before you really challenge it so you kind of know how your body re responds. And then once you get to about 90 degrees, we'll show you the next progression. Box squat, so have a step with some adjustable books or weights on top so you can change the height and have it pretty high initially with a wall or a pole close by for assistance. So you're gonna squat down to promote that knee flexion. Recommend two sets of eight. Once that becomes comfortable, you're gonna remove a book or a weight to increase the depth to increase the range of motion for your knee. And again, after that feels comfortable, you'll do it again until you promote the knee flexion to the level that you desire.